Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are continuing the series building my real house in Roblox. Now it's been uh, a good three months since the last one of these and uh, I, I forgot. Okay, I forgot. I'm sorry. I literally said in the video starting this series, hey guys, this will actually be one that I finish. Three months later, I remembered this. Anyways, boom, here's what we got so far, guys. This is the layout of your boy's house. And today, we're gonna be working on the kitchen. I'm thinking each of these videos will go ahead and add one more room to the house. And uh, the cool part is, when this is done, I'll be able to go in Roblox and move stuff around, change colors, and see how my house would look before such a permanent change. For example, if I wanted to paint this room, maybe I wanted black like this room i don't <laughs> but maybe i did you know i'd be able to come on here and uh, do all the colors or uh say my cabinets right now they're brown but i want to make them black man and then white countertops mm. we'll, we'll get to it someday okay anyways without further ado we're gonna start in the kitchen here's everything here's our oven our sink this is all cabinetry this is the fridge trash can another cabinet another cabinet uh these 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 need they need to be like the same size all right something something like that yeah there we go and uh I guess, I guess first things we should do is just hop into the assets. So, uh, Blender, here we come. All right, guys, we're in Blender, and I've made a list of the assets I'm gonna need. We have a fridge, toaster, microwave, trash can, oven, and sink. A few people have been asking for longer videos, so we're gonna do that, and uh, quite a few people have been asking for time lapses, so we're gonna combine the two. Instead of cutting out making all of these assets, we're gonna time lapse it, and then we'll be back for the next portion, getting everything placed in studio, making the cabinets, all that good stuff. Guys, this kitchen should look pretty awesome when we're done.
All right, guys. Um, I was just recording. Uh, you know, adding colors, getting everything where it goes, and uh, my mic was still my mic was still muted. So that'll just be scrapped. But uh, hey, how you doing? Welcome back. Here's my mic. Uh. <laughs> We have everything placed how it goes. Now all that's left is building the cabinets around it and then maybe a little mat for in front of the uh, the sink because that is all I really forgot. And I'll repeat myself since you guys didn't see when my mic was muted, uh, pretty much everything fits pretty correct to size. I did have to model resize this so it is a little squished, but uh, I, think, I think it works pretty well. Not even gonna lie. And yes, this is how our microwave fits on our counter. Like it barely fits and it's such a small microwave we just don't have a lot of counter space anyways i think i'm gonna do a little actually no you guys wanted longer videos i was gonna just snap and it'll all be i'm gonna sit down <laughs> All right, your boy's sitting down. I'm gonna pull the photos back up on my phone just to make things as legitimate as possible. Whoa, I'd never even noticed this till right now. This cabinet sits lower than this cabinet. I would have never guessed. Now I do need to make everything line up. So let me just duplicate this one, bring it to here. And this way, everything will be perfectly lined up. Delete this bottom one. And then it's gonna drop down one or two more times. That's already lined up. And now all we have to do is this one right here to the edge. There we go. All of the top is done. Now we just have to repeat for the bottom. I'm thinking we'll go about right here. Let's bring the front out like this and we might as well just drag that to connect and then throw it on the other side as well. Now I will tell you that, well, I thought it was going to be proportionally off, but I mean, it seems pretty all right. Let's throw this in the back too. Yo, look at this, man. It's literally your boy's home. We are going to have to bring all of these down uh, just a hair because there's a countertop. Of course, we're gonna use building tools. Perfect. And let's do point one, two, five. Uh, we're gonna do that twice and then we'll duplicate them. One, two, and bring it up from the bottom. Perfect. And get out of building tools. Now we have like a tan, like cork, kind of a little lighter than that. Well, we'll go something like this. And then all of this is more of like a wood, like a, a walnut. Here we go, boys. This is about to look just like my kitchen, man. It's like in between these two colors. We're gonna go just a tint more red and then a little lighter. There we go. And now we're gonna throw a texture on everything. This doesn't have to be optimized at all. It just has to look good. And these are some pretty cool looking textures, man. We're gonna go with this wood one right here. Uh, maybe, um, maybe this one. I like it a little better. Let's throw this on everything. And man, finding one for the countertop is gonna probably be a little bit of an issue. Bro, not bad, not bad. All right, guys, I can't say it's perfect. Ours is a little lighter than this and doesn't really have the dark spots that this one has, but it is the closest I can find, at least on a short notice. So with that being said, we're going to duplicate it, rotate it twice, and then we're just going to replace this countertop over here just to uh, get that site done as well. And then all that's left is to add doors. I know, you know, now that you guys have seen my kitchen and and this is pretty accurate. If, if my house was a little more clean right now, I might be able to put a picture up, but you know, we'll see. Uh, but this is very accurate to my kitchen and you guys will tell I am a broke boy. Look, this is the kitchen, guys. None of the appliances match. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. We don't even have trash bags in the, no. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get these doors made, which uh, should be pretty simple. I'm gonna just duplicate this, and once I make one door, uh, it should sort of sort of just be copy and pasteable, almost. Of course, some are gonna be squared, some are gonna be rectangular, but for the most part, it should be pretty good. So check this out. We're gonna have it like this, have our four corners, just like this. We will group that together. Now I could add a little slope on the inside of this as well. Uh, uh, I guess I guess I might as well if I can get it to line up I will do it a very very small detail But uh, I think it'd be worth it man paste the color in might as well grab the texture Thank the Lord that this does not have to be an optimized build because uh, oh, yeah That works and then we'll rotate it put it on this side and then throw these ones on as well And guys there you go. Let me fix them up just a little bit, but there you go We have a beautiful cabinet door. I'm gonna group this together and no our cabinets do not actually have handles on them you just kind of grab the side of the door and open it i just feel like someone was gonna say dude where's the handles and i'm sorry man <laughs> there's just no handles all right guys for the rest of this it's quite literally
merely doing this and resizing everything to fit. And I think that'd be boring. So I'm gonna get all these doors. It's literally just this, guys. You're not missing anything incredible. But uh, I'm gonna get all these doors sort of uh, figured out like so. And uh, I guess I'll just be back when all of the doors are on, man. Look at this. Yo, yo, look. Oh, man. All right, guys, the cabinets are done. And bro, this is legit my kitchen, man. I'm gonna go ahead and anchor everything just to make sure we're all good. And uh, I'm gonna hit the play button. This is this is gonna be a little a little weird, man. Look at this, bro. Look at this. Okay, proportionally, things aren't exactly correct. Okay, I'm not not the best at that. But wow, whoa. I mean, that's that's a massive fridge. Th this is that's actually a massive fridge. <laughs> Proportionally, things aren't the best, guys, but other than that, bro, this is my kitchen, man. That's so weird. And guys, I do think that'll wrap it up for today. If you guys are hyped for this series, I've got plenty more rooms to build in my mega 5,000 square foot house. It's it's not 5,000 square foot, but I, I was trying to hype it up, okay? Guys, there's plenty more rooms to build minus a living room because my living room is literally this. There's a cat tree over here for the cats to play on and a dresser right here and another dresser right here. There's nothing else in the living room. But guys, that is going to wrap it up for today. If you did enjoy it, you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.